today we're going to be looking at making a very simple friendship bracelet. This is suitable for beginners, suitable for kids. It's a great way to keep them occupied um, with yarn type activities. So I hope you enjoy this quick tutorial. So what we want to do first is take a fairly sturdy but not too thin piece of cardboard. I've just used uh, the box from a set of light bulbs um, and draw a circle on it. I've drawn round a coaster. We then want to mark off eight points on the circle. So we do the top and the bottom, each side and then in between those points as well. So we've got eight points on the circle. We then want to cut round this circle. So if you want to do that and I'll meet you back when that's done. So I've cut my circle and we now want to just snip into each of these eight points that we've marked off. So we take our scissors and just snip into each of the eight marks that we've made around the edges. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it will still have the same effect. We then want to take seven strands of our chosen yarn. Uh, you can use any yarn for this, but I choose to use um, embroidery floss because it's easier to work with and I do think it looks much neater um, when the product is finished. So I've chosen uh, rainbow colours, but like I say, you can choose anything that you want. Now I've cut this to a metre long, just short of a metre long, um, but you just need to cut it to however long you think you will need it. So what we need to do first is tie a knot in one end. We then need to tie a knot probably about two inches further up the yarn. This end can then be used for tying the bracelet together. We need to take our circle of cardboard and in the centre just push through with a pen or a pencil. Um, obviously get an adult to do this just to make a hole in the middle. We take the unknotted yarn end, thread it through the hole in the cardboard. Pull it right through to the knot. So we're going to separate our yarn onto each of the grooves that we've cut around the edges. and hook it over. And just make sure that all your ends are untangled and free of any knots. So because we've got seven pieces of yarn we've got uh, a groove missing. So what we do is we take the third yarn, we work clockwise, so we take the third yarn from the bottom and we pull it down and into the groove at the bottom. We turn clockwise so our free groove is at the bottom and again we take our third piece of yarn and replace it to the bottom. Turn our piece of card, third piece of yarn to the bottom and we continue to do this for as long as is needed for the bracelet to appear on the other side of the card. So 
So as you're working, you need to keep an eye on your work and just keep checking your tail ends to make sure that they're not getting knotted up. But also pull your bracelet through underneath so that it doesn't get bunched up just here. So as you can see, the bracelet is now coming through. So if you just keep working until this part of the bracelet here is long enough to fit around your wrist. So when you've reached your desired length, all you need to do is just unhook each of the strands from the cardboard. And carefully remove the yarn from the cardboard. Tie it in a knot. And then again, about two inches from the end, tie another knot. And then snip your tail ends off. And there you have a finished bracelet. So like I've said, um, you can make these in any colours you want. They're great for kids, for beginners. Um, they're very easy to make and they look fabulous. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, if you did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button to get uh, notified when a new video has been uploaded. So I'll see you back here for another tutorial very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.